So we come. 
much to say. He was no longer really interested in hanging around. So he was getting um, some help. He was getting some help for that. So he was staying on site at the hospital while she was like apparently messing around with this other guy. Who, by the way, I think is many, 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 many years younger. and whatever, but I just feel a little 
this like illusion of otherness like we are all pitted against each other and so divided and blah 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 and so let me tell you like we straight up go out with signs of like sunflowers and hearts and um you know like pride flags and um just like very positive like affirmational type signs saying things like you belong here and like I don't know, just like things of that nature, right? And so again, the intention is to just make sure that other people feel like they have a safe space in this community. And um, you cannot imagine, you cannot imagine <laughs> what these people across the way say to us. And even certain people who are driving by, what they say to us. It's not, it's not funny, but we will kind of half jokingly refer to it as our hate crime hangout because people are, some people are so truly awful to us. <laughs> and it's crazy again because we're literally just holding up sunflowers and hearts and telling people that they belong here and that it's okay to be who they are and all such things. And again, not politically motivated stand with us and represent these values, right? There's nothing about it that is campaigning for anything. It's just trying to make people feel safer and more comfortable in our community uh, at a time when it's like really necessary, I think. And um, so yeah, as you can imagine, we get a lot of slurs thrown our way every week. And for me personally, like Whatsoever. My problem, though, is that there are a lot of people in any community, not just ours, that may feel less secure in their sense of self and their identities, and those things could be really harmful for them to hear, and so that's why we go out and we do this, um, to try to show that there is power in unity and belonging and community and love, right? And it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough. But I, um, but last, last week when we did this, I was in a terrible mood. Um, there was some stuff that just happened that got me upset and I had literally just been crying, like, just moments before I was supposed to leave to go stand out there with these signs for a few hours and to try to counter some of this, like, really hateful language. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this today. Like, I'm not sure I can handle being screamed at for three hours and being told that I should have never been born. <laughs> um, just for saying that everybody belongs here and that we love our community. <laughs> It doesn't matter. 
showing that 
like certain structures operate in our society and I think in a place like where I am it doesn't need to be so cutthroat I don't see the purpose like and again like you're not making a lot of money with these positions some of them don't make any money at all so to be so nasty
as well. And um, it's really nice. My my best friend who I live with just had a birthday party this past weekend, which is why I'm late on uploading a video. It was like crazy and a lot and there's like a million festivities, but it's because we have so many incredible people here who want to spend time with us, like genuinely. And that's crazy. We celebrate with like 30 people. And they're all so reliable and kind and thoughtful and just like fun to be around. And so, while I am like talking in this video about gossip, I don't want it to negate the fact that most of what 